Taiwan has one of Asia's top performing economies, and the collective net worth of Taiwan's richest is over $149 billion. There are about 23 million people in Taiwan, including 31 billionaires. Here's how the richest ones spend their cash. When you're a billionaire, why buy one mansion when you can get two on the same street? One of the houses is a T-shaped monster mansion with a jaw-dropping boomerang-shaped pool that commanded $42.5 million. The other house, which has a rectangular infinity pool, sold for $33 million. Records show the two contemporary mansions were technically acquired by two different LLCs, and Taipei-based freelance writer and food blogger named Joan Huang is listed as the sole manager of both entities. Interesting. Huang is also the wife of the 44-year-old Jeffrey Gu, founder of the Glendale-based Cherry Sky Films production company and the firstborn child of Taiwanese tech tycoon Terry Gu, who has a net worth of $6.3 billion. Terry Gu is the founder and CEO of Foxconn, which is one of the world's largest companies. Foxconn is the world's top manufacturer of iPhones and iPads by volume and employs more than 800,000 people. The company accounts for nearly half of all consumer electronics produced in the world, according to some estimates. Gu and Huang's new compound remains unclear as to what exactly they plan to do with it or why they purchase not one but two outrageously high maintenance mansions. One of the two houses, the one that cost $42.5 million, measures about 17,000 square feet. Aside from marble floors and a spa, the listing describes the house as having expensive, heavy materials such as stone that were curated across the globe. The home also boasts fold-away glass walls, an open shared living room with a massive accent wall and gas fireplace, an interior garden, and a staircase illuminated by a roof light. The second house, that sold for $33 million, measures nearly 13,000 square feet. It's a modern mansion and is quite new. It was only built in 2017. This property is built into a hillside and features a green roof, abundant interior and exterior flow, and an unusual outside layout. A green patio with fine city views and a massive pool with a design that wraps around the front of the property and boasts a lounge island. One of the larger estates in the Bird Streets neighborhood is made up of two lots measuring about three quarters of an acre. Terry Gu is an interesting guy. He was not born rich. His parents fled mainland China to Taiwan in 1949. He was born in Taipei in 1950, but his family barely had enough food or money to live, so they relied on the U.S. missionaries. For 11 years, they lived in a single room. Gu would attend the church where the missionaries distributed food. It is interesting to know that Terry's mother gave him a loan to start Foxconn. Nothing compares to the love of a mother. Gu's mother did everything she could to make her son succeed. Starting as a shipping clerk, Gu was ready to tap into his entrepreneurial spirit, but he lacked the capital to get started. Therefore, his mother lent him the $7,500, which he used to buy molding machines for Western television knobs. The entrepreneur then went to the U.S. for 11 years to look for customers for his products, soliciting businesses and companies like IBM. He is now one of Taiwan's richest billionaires. A penthouse suite of the most luxurious development in Taiwan's capital, Taipei, cost $27 million. Gu will live on the top floor with his wife and children, and friends and business associates can stay on the two floors below. He wanted enough room for everyone's limousine, so he bought 35 parking spaces. Additionally, to the property at the palace, he owns a castle in the Czech Republic, where he has two factories, and of course a Gulfstream 650 private jet worth about $52 million. Off to his home in Czech Republic now, it is a castle in Vidais and can sleep 16 people comfortably. It has 12 bedrooms and 12 bathrooms and is available on Airbnb for $10,000 per night. 
I'm sure he finds immense peace and quiet in the middle of this bohemian countryside. At Casa Serena Chateau, you will find an upgraded historical design, spectacular grounds, 12 luxurious bedrooms, plus outstanding interior space and amenities. Top chefs manage the private catering. In this beautifully renovated 17th century private hunting lodge with its large gardens and lawns, the unique and beautiful history has been preserved and enriched with 21st century comfort and convenience. The chateau is perched majestically above the village of Rostez. It is surrounded by lush forests. A championship golf course is also located adjacent to the chateau, former home of the PGA European Senior Tour, with a fully equipped clubhouse and practice facilities. Previously, Foxconn tycoon Terry Gu owned the spectacular place. It has three floors, marble flooring, and a majestic entrance hall that greets guests on the ground floor, located in the center of the building and ascending all the way to the top floors. On the first floor is a high-tech conference room with a fully equipped kitchen. There are many rooms available for use on the second floor too, which includes two president suites, a large dining room, library, coffee lounge, and a cigar and whiskey bar. There are 10 comfort bedroom suites on the third floor. The lavishly decorated suites feature antique decor and furnishings, including opulent beds, private living areas, and magnificent ensuite bathrooms. A stunning spa and wellness center has been built in a large separate house. The hotel has a big sauna room, a steam room, a massage room, and an indoor heated swimming pool with a whirlpool. Moving on now to bad boy Taiwan tycoon Chuang Chu Wen has a net worth of over $1.5 billion. Chuang was arrested for his alleged connection to illegal gambling and money laundering. More on that later. The legendary tycoon, who holds honorary titles from three Southeast Asian nations, started his electrolyzed water business from scratch, amassing a massive fortune. His overseas investments include Cambodia, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Laos. His financial holdings invest in technology and construction sectors in Malaysia, land development deals in Cambodia, and he's even a board director of the Lao Construction Bank. Chuang received the title of Tan Sri in Malaysia. This is the highest title bestowed by the king and available to fewer than 500 people. According to reports, the tycoon's financial holding company has invested in restaurants, yacht businesses, gaming machines, and the multi-billion dollar online gaming industry. He's all about making the headlines and he got some serious media coverage for purchasing a very expensive Bugatti and a $70 million Gulfstream G650ER private jet. Upon his arrest, the local authorities announced that they had confiscated approximately $10 million worth of luxury vehicles and displayed photos of 13 supercars seized during their raid of Chuang's mansion and company. The cars include a McLaren sports car with a market price of over $3.3 million, three Lamborghinis, two Ferraris, a Rolls Royce, a Morgan retro sports car, two Porsches, a Bentley, a Maserati, and a Mercedes S550S. The police also seized over 700 servers, 17 mobile phones, 10 bank cards, and over $15,000 worth of cash. Let's move on to Dr. Samuel Yin, whose net worth is estimated at $4.7 billion. He heads the Runtex Financial Group, an investor group active in textile, retail, and financial services. He's a big player in real estate as well. He and his wife, Wang Chi Fan, live in a large mansion in the Xinyi neighborhood in Taipei, Taiwan. But where he truly loves to spend his time and money is on his sailing yacht, the Sea Eagle 2. It cost him $100 million and costs about $10 million per year to run and maintain. It's 266 feet, has a crew of 13, can accommodate 12 guests, and can reach a speed of 21 knots. The Sea Eagle 2 also comes complete with three separate tenders. These are smaller boats that supply the luxury yacht with anything it needs. 
including supplies, guests, or perhaps a crate of champagne. It is impossible to overstate the size of this yacht. Despite the vessel's 13-foot freeboard, the two-tier deckhouse, including a half-raised bridge, appears proportionate. Throughout the main deck level accommodation, the panoramic view is interrupted only by a few minimal mullions. In addition to ample cockpit space, there is also an uncluttered aft deck. The yacht hosts many business meetings. The forward part of the superstructure includes a large saloon as well as a formal dining table for 16 people. When he's not sailing around the world, you might find the Taiwanese billionaire flying in his private jets. He owns a Bombardier Global 7500 and a Boeing 737 BBJ that can accommodate 18 passengers and has a price around $90 million. On to the current richest man in Taiwan now. The self-made billionaire, Zhang Shengwen, is worth approximately $12 billion and sits at number 163 on the world's richest list. The 74-year-old founded Huali Industries, a shoe manufacturer, back in 2004. The company now has factories in China, Vietnam, and Dominica. Huali supplies dozens of brands including Nike, Puma, Ugg, and Vans. For being the richest man in Taiwan, you'd think there would be a ton of information on what this guy spends his billions on, but there just isn't. He is a mystery. He rose to riches so quickly, this guy's picture is barely online. Oh well, moving on. On to electronics billionaire Pierre Chen, who knows how to spend his money and there's nothing he likes collecting more than art. He keeps some of his most expensive pieces in his homes. In Yangmingshan, Taiwan, Chen owns a couple of homes, including the former French embassy. However, his main residence is a low, discreet villa built in the 1940s with panoramic views of Taipei City. In this home, there are two Anthony Gormley figures worth at least $10,000 on his terrace. But the list of major works he owns goes on and on. Chen is a world-renowned art collector. He started collecting artworks since 1976 and owns pieces from renowned artists including Picasso, Bacon, and Richter. Chen bought San Yu's painting Five Nudes that was created between 1950 and 1959 back in 1993. It cost him $130,000 at the time. He then sold it for $16 million in 2011. I bet he wishes he did hold on to it, however, as it just sold for a record-breaking $39.1 million in 2019. That would make you want to have a drink. Well, Pierre Chen is also a passionate collector of wine. His wine collection is one of the finest in the world, and a few bottles can be yours. He's auctioning some of his multi-million dollar collection via Sotheby's Hong Kong. The auction is called The Art of Living, legendary wines from the cellar of Pierre Chen. Chen's extensive wine collection was gathered for more than 30 years, and more than 360 lots will be sold, with a range of famous fine wines including Dom Perignon, First Gross of Bordeaux, and Petrus. The estimated price for the sale is $11.4 million, the second highest estimated single owner wine sale in Asia. Some of the highlight wines on the block is Chen's 1971 Latash DRC with an estimated price of $110,000, but could go upwards of $190,000, and that's per bottle. And he's selling three. His 1961 Hermitage La Chapelle Paul Jabolet Ain 1.5 liter bottle is up for grabs too, and an estimated price of $35,000 to $60,000 can get you one. If you like white, he's got three bottles of 2009's Chevalier Montachet, Domaine d'Auvigné. Estimated price for a bottle of that good stuff will run you $30,000 to $50,000. Chen has said that wine is the only art form that one can consume and literally live with. It uses senses that traditional art mediums usually do not involve, like one's smell and taste. He says wine requires creativity on the part of the owner. Yeah, yeah, Pierre, just pour me a glass already. 
As well as collecting famous wines, Chen owns his own vineyard. Chen's vineyard has vintage wines ranging from 2015 to 2017. Chen's passion for top wines led him to invest in the Burgundy family winery. With Chen's purchase of the vineyard in 2015, Favely now owns nearly one-third of the Mussini Grand Cru vineyard in Burgundy. Production increased from 150 to 500 bottles per year. It can also get 25 to 30 cases of wine from the winery in return each year. One of his 2015 1.5-liter bottles goes for $12,000 to $22,000. That would be an expensive dinner. Okay, Jay Chu isn't a billionaire, but he's Taiwan's most well-known personality in popular music and movies, so we'll give him a pass. Plus, he knows how to spend his money, and he does it lavishly. Not like these secretive, stuffy Taiwan ultra-elites. He paid $27 million for this luxury penthouse. The superstar lives in a luxury penthouse in Taipei with a 360-degree beautiful view. But no one's really surprised. In addition to jet-setting around the world, he lives here with his wife, two kids, and one super lucky dog. The building has a lobby that's 18 freaking meters high. We would say other crazy rich Asians would be envious of Jay's choice in real estate. Who wouldn't be? This is also the guy that reportedly has his daughter enrolled in a $32,000 per year preschool. We don't expect anything less from one of showbiz's richest men. I mean, he is the reigning king of Mando Pop. It made headlines when his wife, Hannah, shared a picture of them hanging out with their Pomeranian, Matchy, on what we assume is their balcony. The same photo also shows the much-discussed 360-degree view and what appears to be a lawn. Matchy probably does his business on the grass lawn of their balcony when no one's home. This is what Jay's condo located on the He Ping East Road in Taipei's Dan District looks like from the outside. The star wasn't afraid to spend some money on his wedding either. The estimated cost of Jay and Hannah's wedding is well over $1 million, which makes it one of the most extravagant celebrity weddings in Taiwanese history. Accommodation for the guests alone is estimated at around $433,000, while expenses for the wedding venues reach $346,000. The couple's pre-wedding photos alone cost $216,000. Each photo was taken in a different location, Paris, Prague, and Germany. This black and white photograph shows the couple in a romantic embrace against a classical Parisian roofline. You think for that price they could have got it in color. So Taiwan isn't the first place that comes to mind when thinking about outrageously opulent living. Unlike its outwardly opulent and bustling cousins, Hong Kong and Singapore, the island's richest inhabitants like to keep things on the DL. But we hope we broke the ice enough to show you what it's like to be filthy rich in Taiwan.